members of FEC, my brothers and sisters who are gathered here. As you can see, I've had to take a short break from my duties as president of this country to be here to pick forms, nomination forms, to contest for the flag bearership of the great NDC party. Now, let me say that I have been overwhelmed by the reception that I have had. I'm reliably informed that some of our members have been here since yesterday. And I'm particularly grateful to those or to some of those who accompanied me here, notably Mr. Guzitano, Mr. Edward Annan, Mr. Yiti Mensa, Mr. Afote Agbo, Mad Madam Sherry Aite, Mrs. Cecilia Johnson, Mr. Ama Benuado, Mrs. Betty Moldy Drusu, Hannah, Hannah, Anna Bishu, Emilia, Emilia Arthur, and many, 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 many more. Now, I am particularly happy that we have all gathered here because I have an appeal to make. Many of us have worked tirelessly to make NDC what it is. Many are those who have sacrificed in order to ensure the sustenance of our party. And my appeal is that we should ensure that this campaign is carried out in a clean manner, devoid of insults. The campaign is not about who can hell insults at the fastest rate, who can engage in vitriolic attacks, please let us know that at the end of the day, we have to come together to prosecute a better Ghana agenda. And then whoever wins, whoever wins will have to build on the foundation that we are laying now. I want, therefore, to appeal to each and every one of you. Let us bear this in mind. I would like to assure you, however, that I know that I'm going to win. But let me see that, say that winning is not the end of the road. What we are in politics for is to help raise the living standards of our people. Anyone who seeks power must make sure that the power is used to serve the needs of our people. One must not seek power because of one's ego. One must seek power because I want to do this. The only reason should be to help our people. I know God is on our side. We will succeed unless play to cooperate with one another. That is what it's all about. The Ghanaian electorate is very discerning. They know what they want. Let's try and give them what they want because they have reposed confidence in us. And I know that with the foundation that we are laying, we'll be able to build the superstructure. And at the end of the day, Ghanaians will appreciate the sacrifices and the hard work that we've been able to do. I want to thank all of those who have made it here at great cost to themselves. But I want to tell them that we will not disappoint them. Thank you.